crunchy, tasty, buggy. Today's chefs have to cook up the best bug dish and avoid getting squished. Hello chefs, today you must use the everyday ingredients in your baskets to prove to Miranda that even though she doesn't realize it, she actually eats bugs all the time. If your dish doesn't cut it, you will get squished. Okay, open them up. And our contestants have bugs, bugs, and more bugs. My strategy is to tell the truth. If you've ever eaten a lobster or a crayfish, you've eaten a bug. They're both arthropods. Hmm, that's very smart. Lobsters are essentially spiders of the sea. I'm never eating a lobster again. A bug's hips shall never pass these lips. Oh, the truth is, bugs are already in most of our foods, and there's nothing unsafe or even unhealthy about it. Our produce and canned foods are full of little bug bits. Broccoli, spinach, and canned tomatoes can contain heads, legs, thoraxes, and even entire insects. How is that allowed? Until I become a chef full time, I still have my day job at the FDA. And we allow these bugs in there because eating them is totally safe. In fact, the only reason the FDA puts limits on bug parts in food at all is so people don't notice them. Generally, our policy is if people don't notice, they won't care. Well, now I like what I'm seeing here with the chocolate. Chocolate is full of bugs. Yes, great move. In fact, if you eat 100 pounds of chocolate, you'll have eaten one entire pound of bugs. There are even bugs in certain drinks. Up to 5% of the hops in each batch of beer is bugs. <laughs> I love a happy beer. I do not. I think we're done here. Yes, we are, with the dishes that contain bugs unintentionally. But our chefs were also asked to prepare a dish of common foods that contain bugs on purpose. Chefs, please step back. Mmm. Nice choice by Chef Maylin here. Yes, the red dye found in milkshakes, yogurt, and sausages is often made from scale insects. I've created dishes that really represent me and the bugs. So I look over at Chef Tony's dish and I realize we both went for the lac bugs. Lac bugs are used in the coating for jelly beans and other candies and cake fondant. I'm still confident in my dish. I just hope the judges feel the same way. For me, it was just disgusting. I didn't even try it. I say more. If you're gonna put the bugs in, Put the bugs in. Well, do we have a decision? Chef Aaron, I'm afraid you've been squished. Chef Aaron, you did demonstrate why humans unknowingly ingest around one to two pounds of flies, maggots, and other bugs hidden in their food each year. But at the end of the day, the execution just wasn't there. Yeah. Be well. Wait a minute. Are you telling me I could be eating up to two pounds of bugs a year without even knowing it? I'm gonna have my jaw wired shut. My friend Joyce had it done, she looks divine. Or you could just accept it. And for the sake of humanity, you should. Because bugs might be the best way to feed our growing population. Worldwide, demand for meat-based protein is rising at an alarming rate. But if that trend continues and everyone starts eating as much meat as Americans do, raising that amount of livestock would require more land area than even exists on the planet. But if we replace just half the world's meat consumption with bugs, we'd use one third less land for agriculture. Plus, eating bugs is a lot less wasteful. 80% of a cricket's body is edible, compared to just 40% of a cow's. And not only could we feed way more people, it would be more environmentally efficient. Farming crickets requires far less water than farming lean meat. And bugs are straight up safer to consume. Unlike traditional meat, bugs are genetically different enough from humans that diseases don't jump to us when we eat them. And we 
we've reached the end of the video, which means you have two options. Option one, hit the subscribe and never miss another new video from Adam Ruins Everything ever again. Option two, start reading the comments and weep for humanity.